Hello everyone, in this uh, demonstration today I'm going to be showing you guys how I define my line angles and the tools that I'm using to uh, make everything nice and sharp, and prominent, what have you. So let's dive into it. I'll keep this short and sweet. As you can see for tooth number nine here, um, this line angle is pretty much somewhat done. So we're gonna focus on um, this pontic here and then our lateral. And you could see the contralateral tooth has a somewhat tighter, sharper mesial line angle, so we'll carry that on over here. Um, with that being said, let's dive into it. We can correct the emergence of this pontic. So we'll go right here and address that real quick before we hit our line angle because we typically do want the emergence um, somewhat smoothed out and where we want it before hitting the line angle. Because then we kind of have a direction of where we're going with that line angle. So let's just call that good for now. We could tighten that up or fix this little indent right here. Not really digging that. We can go right here. Let's hit that with that tool. So one thing to keep in mind when you're designing your line angles uh, with the add form tool is size and shape of the tool. So, or size and strength of the tool rather. So we don't want it too big. We don't want it too small, unless we're really trying to sharpen that up. We want it say about right here. And then another little trick that you can do to kind of indicate that those line angles are at a symmetrical, um, they're brought out symmetrically or that the like one line angle isn't more prominent than the other is by taking a look at the color right here of our contact. So I'm going to do something right here to show you. If we bring it too far out, you know, you could, and I'll show you right now, we this is too far out. Like this one right here is sticking out further. And that contact strength kind of indicates that. You could see you're showing less blue here and more blue here it's because you're getting somewhat of a shadow going on. So let's undo that. And you could see because we worked on this one, this one has a little bit of a shadow. Hope that makes sense. But let's remove the contact color so we can see what we're doing. I start at the incisal edge and then you just bring it up. And sometimes it's like a, and you want to do it in one smooth stroke, but sometimes you got to undo what you've done and go back, maybe resize the tool, but we'll just keep doing this until we got it where we want it. So that's somewhat good. Um, you could see this line angle right here at the incisal edge is a little tighter than it is over here. And yep, you could see that in the contact, so color of the contact. So that's a little bit better. This is not perfect. It's just not, but this is what I'm doing for my line angles. And you could come in here and kind of work that a little bit. You do the same thing over here. And then we'll do the same thing over here for this lateral. And it's nice and it gives the teeth more depth and character when you don't go up in one smooth motion. I mean, here we're kind of just matching what we've done over here. But like for a distal line angle, what's really nice is to start here and then kind of bring it up and in. And I don't like the way that that... Um, and with the distal, it's a little bit trickier. It really is. You want to you want to add that curve like a nice curve and you don't want it to just be straight you know up and down line so we're kind of curving things a little bit and with the in-lap software specifically if you've done something that you like like i should have done that before i started this distal line angle i did it over here and really liked the way that that turned out another thing too to keep in mind when you're when you are creating that line angle you can kind of see as you're turning the model like where the existing line angle is. So if you want to sharpen it up or make a line angle more prominent, angle the model in a way so that you can see this reflection of where the line angle is, and then you just go over it again. Words of wisdom right there. Call that Weston's tidbit for the day. 
But yeah, let's, so if we come over here, you can see where that is and let's enhance it. Just run the tool along where it already is. And I'm not liking the direction this is going. You could see the emergence here is really nice. And over here, we need to bring it out up here. But I don't know if I already mentioned this, maybe I did. If you've done something that you like, like say we got the mesial line and go looking good, switch the tool, like go from form to shape and then go back to form. Because if you do something that you don't like after doing something that you do like and click undo, it's gonna undo everything that was done since you've been in that tool. So again, we hit the line angle on the mesial, we like it. Just for precautionary measures, switch the tool, go to shape, go to whatever tool, and then go back to form. And then when you do your distal, if you do something that you don't like, you can undo it and it won't undo what you did on the mesial. So I'm just going to stop the video here. I'm going to finish up this design. Uh, I have a lot of refining to do, but um, that is just a quick little video of how I'm doing my line angles with the shape tool or with the form tool at form. We're making sure that our strength is at a reasonable level. If it's too high, it's gonna do too much. And I'll, I'll show you, for example, switch tool, go back into form. And if we wanna say enhance this mesial line angle and our, our strength is too high, I'll just go to 100 for demonstration. It's gonna be too, well, I mean, it's just, it could be too much especially if you're working slowly, you know, it's too much. So, um, keep the strength relatively low, make sure it's sized properly, not too big, not too small. And, um, and then start at the incisal edge, mesial or distal incisal edge, and run it along where you see that existing contour line based on the reflection. So like on the mesial, you could see exactly where that's at. And then we'll just go zoop. And then right here, same thing, zoop. Hope you enjoyed the video. I love you all and good night, good morning, whatever, wherever you are. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, for your next design, use these tools in this way and you'll create beautiful, beautiful line angles. Talk to you later.